here is the first story of the night and the idea is a man gets food with a hair in it and the story commence there's this guy called Craig yay yes man I have a bike man yes Yes, like a big fucking cheer in the happy days. Like with the phones, when the phones walks in. Hey! No, but seriously. Seriously, listen to this though. There's this guy called Craig. And he's, uh, he's seen this lassie called Mary. And... Things only gone things only gone too well. He's trying to move on on, on a third base. He's trying to move on to f- third base. Now I don't know exactly what third base is because it's like an American par. Uh, I don't know what it is, but um something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But he's trying to move on to third base. And he's taking his girlfriend because this is his girlfriend. He's taking his girlfriend out <laughs> uh, <laughs> to a restaurant. And this is a fancy... I'm going to stop playing with the drawing pins here. Um, and he's decided to take her to a restaurant to try and, you know, treat her. Maybe... Maybe she's went, she's gone after him or something like that. Maybe she's like, I don't think he's the one to move on to third base with. By the way, both of these people are in their mid-30s. Um, Craig and Mary. So he, he decides he's going to really fucking splash out and he's going to spend half his fucking wages on an insanely expensive fucking restaurant. It's insanely, insanely expensive. It's part of a hotel as well. Fancy hotel. Like, the... the um, the chef is like a well-known fucking chef. It's that, um, it's that Marco Pierre White. He's the chef in the place and it's part of this hotel. Um, not as expensive as what you would think, because remember, Marco Pierre White did the fucking Oxo. No, no, was it? North Stock Cube or whatever advert. So you know that times are fucking... Uh, times are now... He, he's, getting, he's back to the lean years. Um, but he managed to, managed to get it, so he takes her to this hotel, right? Amazing, amazing hotel up north in Scotland. I mean, up in the Highlands. Um, I hope you're standing here. A window sound there, fucking Adobe. Um, so he takes her there, and she's like, "Oh, what's this?" He, he says, "I want to take you for a restaurant. I would take you for a restaurant. I take you for a restaurant." Oh, sorry, I'm so nervous. Just. What's all this about? Nothing. Just decided to go to a restaurant. He's wanting to give the impression that if they really, really get together after third base, then this is to be expected. This isn't like a big deal to him. Every few weeks to go out for a big meal, spend about 500 fucking quid. It's a big deal. Pff, he's breaking the bank. He's breaking the fucking bank. It's in his overdraft got with us. Um... So he takes them and they go there and it's a hotel. Oh, he didn't tell me it was a hotel. Is that all right? I mean, I mean, you know, I've I've booked I've booked two different rooms. You know, if you want to if you want to do that, it's just so we have somewhere to stay. Cause I thought we'd stay here for a couple of nights. She went. She goes. No, it's fine. You might you might have to sleep in the couch though. The couch in the room. Well, whatever it is, she's she's long, she's lunch. He's like, no, I know, I know, but I've booked another room. As you don't, that's fine. He's not booked another room. He goes to the reception and all that, and he's like, you 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 walk in the restaurant, see how it is. I have booked a room for you. He's kind of head that. He's head no. He's not booked another room. He just chanced it by saying that. If she had went like that to him, all right, in two rooms, he'd be fucked. 
he'd be sleeping out in the fucking outside in the fucking hedge. Um, so anyway, it's time for this meal. So they sit down for the meal. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, what, do you like it? She's like, mmm. Oh, it's amazing, the soup. Mmm. Oh, the starter. Mmm. Oh, and it's one of these ones, it's like a seven course meal. You know, it's not just like starter, main and dessert. It's like seven course, wee's wee and bits in between. Mmm. And he's looking at her like, He's just, he, and he's like that and all. Mmm. Mmm. And he's sort of picturing like the two of them at it there up in the room that night. With the two of them going like, mmm. Mmm. So it's kind of like, um, the sounds that she's making and the sounds that he's making is kind of like, uh, um, like sexual in a way, kind of sexual by proxy. Anyway, so he's eating away, he gets to his, his main, which is a, a fish thing. And he's eating his fish, right? And he's going like, mmm, mmm. 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 And she goes like, what is that? He goes, hold on. Mmm. What is it? Is it a bone? No. Mmm. Pulls out a hair. Pulls out a hair. He goes like, oh. Fuck. She's what is it? Is it a fly? It's a it's a he doesn't want to put her off. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to say it in disgust in case it disgusts her and then her whole night she is disgusted and doesn't want to think about him. He goes it's it's a it's a hair. She goes Oh what, what kind of hair? He goes like that. He looks at it. Well, it's a the dark, dark hair. She goes, no. What kind is it? He goes. A pubic, pubic hair. It's a pub. And he goes like, that. oh. And then she goes like that. She gets out her seat. She walks out of him. And goes down on one knee. And she goes like, surprise. And he goes, what? Surprise what? And she says, I'm ready to go to third base. He's like, what's going on here? She's like, you know how, like, sometimes somebody takes somebody to a restaurant or something, and then there's like a ring in the, in the soup, and they take the ring out, and it's like the engagement ring. Will you marry me, that type of thing? Aye. Well, I put one of my pubes in the fish. Kind of symbolic, isn't it? It's just because you got the fish thing, it just reminded me. I just want to thank you. So I took the pube out and I put it in your fish. I'm ready to go to third base with you. And he's like, oh. And the two of them, they leaves on meal. Marco Pierre White comes out. And he's contractually obliged to ask everybody, how is your meal? How was your meal? How he's having to come here off. Like, How was your meal? And there's nobody there. Because the two of them have just left. They've just went right up to that room. And I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. See when it came to fucking and it come to, it came to fucking pubes and his myth and fish and all that carry on man. 
then he fucking disgusted him. Uh, like, mad. He was not he was far from disgusted. In fact, you know what he was doing? You know what she was doing? Mm. The end. That's a wee romantic when they get the night started.